Sup peeps, how's it going? Tufty here. Today we have something a little bit different for you. I'm going to do a map run through and pretty much show some unedited footage. Basically talk about some of the strategies I use, the routes I take on Gold Rush, which is actually pretty much my favourite ever map. You won't have my little face in the corner, so obviously that's going to sadden you a lot. I recommend printing off my face for those uh, videos that don't include it, so then you still have it there close to hand. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be of any interest to you guys. It might turn out that it's not that great, but if you do like it, um, then yeah, let me know and I'll continue to make this into a series. Uh, basically walking through one map at a time, just talking about the routes I take, the strategies I use, and stuff like that. So I thought I'd make these focus on the offensive. I tried to pick a game that was fairly interesting. I want it to be challenging and fairly successful obviously. Um, so yeah, I play a bunch of games and then just pick one I think that was kind of interesting and not too long and then just talk over it a bit Mr. Paladin style -y. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's jump straight in. So this was actually quite a um, fast paced game so I'll try and keep up where I can. So to begin with we're on the first map and we're attacking and I tend to use the far right exit here as you can see I'm trying to make sure it's clear of any enemies and the reason I do this is because there's often a lot of people on the balcony on the far left there so it gives you a view of what's going on over there and you're also near the cart so you can get some health from that. I was unlucky with that soldier and I'm also aware that there's a sniper over here somewhere so I do a bit of a faily kind of sticky jump but you know I got into a fairly decent position kind of at their flank and was able to do a bunch of damage to the most of the team so I checked the balcony for the sniper he wasn't there and then yeah just push forward into the tunnel obviously the tunnel is an awesome choke point so getting some stickies down you know you want to do that as soon as you can so you can really stop them trying to push back Took a lot of damage, so I'm just going to chill out for a second here and grab some health. And then join my buddies on the cart. Once we've hit this second point, I always use this little route in the middle. And then as you go around here, just check for anyone who's trying to defend the cart like this guy here. You usually get one or two enemies around here, and just by using that middle route, you can just sort of catch them unawares, take them out usually. I was thinking about taking out that medic but for some reason I decided to just leave him be. Um, I want to check out basically for sentry guns. Just checking these three openings. It looks like there's none and then eventually I do see one in a very unusual spot. I want full health to deal with that gun because it's a bit of a weird one. I'm not sure I've seen that before so I'm just gonna go back grab that big health kit and make my way back over to take it out. It actually turns out that a soldier has already done the work for me, so in that case, I'll just get on the cart. It looks like we're doing okay here, we're doing a pretty decent job of pushing the cart, so I'm just going to help out, spam down that main middle pathway, that main route with some pipes, sort of pushing them back. This guy jumps in, so I'm going to actually go down into this valley, which is really kind of a useful thing you can do because it means you're not as obvious a target to the enemy, so you can sort of put out damage while being kind of in the cover of that valley. And we're now going to head back to the cart. Try and finish off this heavy. I think I make a bit of a mistake here. I... Yeah, he does take me out in the end. So yeah, just going to sticky jump, grab this big health kit. And it turns out my team's done the job for me, so we're all good, and the first round is ours. So it's quite a quick round. Four, three, two, one. Here we are on the second map. Again, I take the second exit and I tend to just throw a few stickies into that room there because there's often a base up there of some kind, uh, if not on the other side there where I'm trying to snipe some stickies. This uh, soldier bombs in, causing me a bit of hassle, so I'm a little bit wary of him now. 
he's probably going to come back to me. So I'm just going to grab this health and then try and finish him off before I do anything too drastic. Trying to kind of coax him in to bomb me. Uh, I think here he does decide to bomb me and then yeah, I'm able to put a, a sticky bomb down and finish him off there. Once I've gotten all the way around here and there's no sentries, it's just a great place to get behind the enemy. Uh, looks like we're pushing okay, so I'm just going to double check this area over here. Check there's no tellies or what have you, um, but it all looks clear, so I can just join my guys on the cart and help with this push. So when we do hit this control point, I usually immediately go back around the top route. In this game I decided I'm going to actually push the cart a little bit. I feel like we've been quite quick so far, so they probably haven't got much of a chance to get a defence up. Unfortunately I was a bit complacent there. A spy got behind me and uh, I was just a bit careless to be honest, but it's all good. Let's roll back out. There's another juicy big health pack here, so I can just do the jump to that, no problem. And this is where I do end up going this top route and taking the leftmost route. This is great for any sentry guns at the end. You often find people going up that stairs, they're like the heaviest, um, so just sticking up that as you go is always useful. Just gonna check out what's going on, how well we're doing, if I actually need to be cautious or not. I was very lucky with that guy, luckily we didn't see each other. Thought I'd let that spy have the kill and then I re <laughs> and obviously the, the NG had fixed it so probably shouldn't have done that. A bit flustered with that scout but I think it's all good. So I'm just going to do one last flank around the left here, basically check for any sentry guns. I was able to get a bunch of damage out onto the team there. See a little base in the corner, let's get some pipes onto that real quick just sort of tank any damage, just make sure I've got loads of pipes over there. There. I was very lucky with that crit, and not complaining. Uh, and then it looks like we're doing okay here, so I'm just going to put some last stickies either side, so if anyone does push out, we're prepared for them. And then just check my back for any spies, and we're all good. Another pretty quick round. So, um, map 3, again, I take the exit on the far left. If you can see there I had some stickies above the exit, that's just in case we, there's any spies or pyros. Sometimes a spy tries to get behind you there. I go under this little tunnel here, find a bunch of snipers, so I try to take them out but another spy gets me unfortunately. Blatant spy on the left there, my wall hacks helped me out there a little bit. Looks like we're doing okay. I don't see any sentry on the left. Normally I would do that route I took under the tunnel and then round to take out that sentry gun, but it looks like we're all good. There's quite a big enemy presence to the top right, so I think I can usually go this route and just sort of spam the choke. Notice there's a guy behind us, and if there's ever a guy behind us, I actually feel pretty uneasy, so I'll pause it there real quick, because I think what happened there was I actually landed on top of the sniper's head. I had no idea I'd run past him, so I was trying to check where on earth he'd went, and he'd actually just walked past me because I landed on his head, um, but somehow I missed that. I do eventually find him again, and I'm able to take him out just around this corner. But yeah, if there's anyone I spot behind me, you don't want to be worrying about who's behind you and having to fight two fronts, so I just make sure they're all finished off and then I can focus on the car and pushing forward. Just getting loads of stickies down there so as they come out of spawn and they're taken care of. And then we're good, I think we've captured the first point. Being really cautious now, checking our back. There's a few guys around here to make sure that spawn door is closed, so we're all good. Now there's a bunch of guys around this corner here, it's kind of a blind corner, you can't really see what's going on, so I'm just going to back up and take this route along this pathway here. So they're completely oblivious to me for a second there, so I can get some pipes down onto them. 
Um, there I luckily had a medic, and because I noticed I had a medic on me, I thought, okay, I can probably tank the damage to the scout and do a really close range pipe, and luckily it worked out okay. Just spamming down the middle there, trying to make sure the snipers aren't having too much of an easy job. I'm just going to do one last flank round to the right here, see what we got. Uh, I was unlucky to take that pill straight away there, but go back, got some health and then start taking out any more enemies that we have around here. I think we're doing okay. Now, something I noticed here, for some reason, I don't know what it was, but I saw the two pyros and I sensed that in that top right corner there was an enemy. I don't know what it was, the way they looked up there or something. So, after I pushed them back a little bit, I just sort of focused my fire up there and yeah, there was a soldier up there. I can't put my finger on why I knew that, but I just had the feeling. I think I guess there's always people up there to be honest, so. This is a great route to take at this part of the map. Just pop round here along this corridor. Because they're focused on the cart, they don't see you coming around this top route and you can just get loads of damage out. Once we push them around this corner, there's someone in there, so I'll just put a sticky in there real quick. And then I head back to the car and um, keep on pushing. So when we get the cart to this corner, I decide to take the route down below through this little drop down. Unfortunately, I wasn't aware that there was two enemies waiting for me down here. So although I got a couple of pipes onto him, they were able to take me out quite easily. So I'm just going to be prepared next time, make sure I'm ready for them. I've never had a great kind of rollout for this last map on Gold Rush. To sort of uh, make it up as I go along, to be honest. This time I'm going down and I'm immediately putting some stickies down, trying to get some damage onto him. Unfortunately, I don't quite finish him off, so I'm proper kind of spooked now. I know which way he's coming from, and he's got a health pack over there, so I'm a little bit nervous. But I think. Fortunately, a roller does finish him off, so I'm able to carry on my way. Now, we're getting pretty close, so I'm thinking, right, this could be the last push. Let's sticky up their spawn. And then a scout comes along and ruins my life. I get about 18 hits onto him, but he still takes me out. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, touche. Got telly up now, so we're in a pretty good position. And I don't think there's any sentries, so I'm actually going to do a little sticky jump up behind them, which is really useful. There's a little med pack there. And then you can just sort of rain down hell. And take out a bunch of guys. And I think we pretty much had it covered at that point. So yeah, we did quite well. It actually wasn't the hardest game ever. I would have liked to show more of a challenging game, but at the same time I want it to be fairly short so I can kind of get through it in one video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope there's something useful there for you. It's my first time I've done this, so maybe I'll get better with it the more I do these. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.